So, hello and welcome to the show. Hello. Um, it looks like uh, like richer countries like Russia, they they have like football teams and other expensive toys, and countries like poorer like Ukraine and uh, Baltics, they open up all these incubator programs and accelerator programs. There is two in Tallinn. There is, I think, three in Kiev at the moment, I, and I heard there will be more. So. Why did you start this uh, Game Founders thing? And isn't this like a fashion thing, a fat thing? Yeah, we've been asked this question quite a lot uh, ourselves. And um, uh, at the moment, there's like more than uh, 200 accelerators in the world. Uh, 200 in the, in the whole world? In the whole world. Okay. Uh, according to uh, David, David Cohen from Techstars, it was like 150 a year ago or so. Mm -hmm. So um, what we noticed is that it's, uh, it's impossible to, um, to give uh, lots of value to uh, uh, specialized companies, for instance, gaming startups in a general accelerator. Um, the, re the reason is that um, the mentors that are there may not be uh, knowledgeable about uh, the specific business of the company at all. So what happens in the end is that they, uh, they give advice which is very generic about, most about um, uh, business, business model or, uh, or how to form a team. Um, but they miss um, really the, the very, uh, very industry specific points which are actually important. So that's why we decided to uh, create one of the first specialized uh, or focused accelerators in the world and uh, the first uh, accelerator that is focused on gaming in, in Europe. So it, like, your differentiation from all the other programs is that you're only focused on one industry, one market, right? Yes, exactly. And um, uh, I truly believe that uh, this is uh, this is a uh, next phase that is uh, at the moment going on. We see... Uh, Few uh, few accelerators emerging in the world that attract all the all the startups from Ukraine, from Estonia. These are, as we all know, uh, three of them. Yeah, like which one? <laughs> Would you like to guess? Well, TechStars, Y Combinator, and the third one is what? Starts with uh, with a number. Five hundred startups. Correct. Okay. So uh, now we are making a. Uh, great, great brand endorsement to them. <laughs> that, I think, yeah, that's fine. Which is, which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, so uh, then the fourth one is uh, Seed Camp in yeah. Europe, the number it's one. Probably the, the best known and the most successful European one. Exactly. And um, uh, what's happening is that um, that uh, they get best best of startups, and um, and the rest of the. Accelerators uh, can compete only if they uh, uh, specialize. Uh, this month, um, uh, there was a, a financially focused or, or one accelerator open in London, which is focused only on f financial startups. Uh, then uh, in this spring, I heard that um, Springboard followed our, uh, our example and, and started a, a mobile yeah. only. Accelerator Mobile. Mm -hmm. Yes, and there's um, this 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 year there uh, there's a, a focused accelerator started also in uh, in San Francisco. Our uh, partner Game Dodgers. So uh, it's a gaming gaming mm -hmm. accelerator. Um, uh, now there's also opened uh, uh, health related uh, accelerator Rock Health in uh, mm -hmm. in San Francisco and also one in Chicago. So um, we see this happening, and uh, I think it's very good because it, it it's actually helps startups more. They get more value. So basically, you, you want to like be the best uh, accelerator program for those who are interested in gaming and, or building gaming projects, right? Yes, and I uh, I believe that we are. We. Uh, well, you just started. How you, you can say that? I mean, there is no track record, right? Even if you believe there is like no no facts, no like data that can support this, or am I you know, wrong? If you don't believe yourself, yeah, who should course. believe in you then? Uh, but um, yeah, you know, time tells. But um, um, we have uh, about seventy mentors in the gaming industry. Seventy. Seventy. Okay. 
and um, um, they have more more uh, knowledge about uh, their industry than than you would get um, as a gaming startup when you would be in a, in a general accelerator. Okay, so so let's talk more about the, the program and the, the accelerator. Like how many teams do you have? Like when you did you start? When they're in like the five demo day? Like what do you do inside? Like all this interesting stuff. Right, we we follow uh, the um, model that has been tried for last. Um, five, seven years by uh, top accelerators. So it's a three months program. We, uh, we run it uh, twice, <coughs> twice a year. We started with our first batch in September. So I run it uh, September, October, November. And um, we will actually open applications for the next round very soon. We will announce it. Okay, so you, you're and ready. And the next round starts in March. In March. Um, so, how many teams did you get in the first uh, the first batch? Right, we uh, we had uh, 122 applications from 41 countries, and uh, we picked uh, six teams. Uh, they are from uh, European countries and one from Argentina. I I thought it was one from Australia or India somewhere very very far away. Uh, maybe it was Argentina. Argentina is also far. Uh, are they here? These yes, guys? they are. We'll maybe talk to them okay. <laughs> later. So you have six teams. Yes. And uh, there is three months program, and I assume like all these mentoring sessions and, and so on. They, they, oh yeah, they about do. the program. Yeah. So um, it's uh, like I said, we uh, we follow uh, we follow the uh, tested model. So. Uh, However, we, we, we are um, planning it uh, in a way that, uh, that is best for gaming startups. And we uh, listen to the feedback of our startups and, and, um, and make the program accordingly. So uh, for the first month, we have had um, lots of mentors here flying in from uh, uh, Europe and from US. And um, uh, we, uh, we have had also uh, uh, seminars about game development and uh, and uh, uh, how to pitch and uh, various other topics. We have here had here um, really gr great speakers, and um, we we will have uh, demo days in the end of the program. We plan them uh, one in San Francisco and and one in uh, in uh, London. Probably. So you don't, you're not going to, to do a demo day here? Yeah, we will. Also okay. here. So, like, right, right you said, uh, like you said, there is like, the, 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 skill, the structure of the program are similar from program to in different accelerators, but the devil is in, in the details and like... Right. Um, so, what, what's, uh, um, I want to ask about the founding team, like, who, 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 who started this? Like, do you have relevant experience? Why do you think you can you can do it? I mean, you have to attract right mentors. You have to like, if you in order to add value, you you have to like understand what you're doing. So, who 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 is behind the, the program? We are four uh, four founders. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, been in uh, accelerators ourselves. We are uh, we have been involved in several. Uh, uh, Startups. So my two partners are uh, 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 have been involved. Let's say my three other partners have been involved in several startups. Uh, one of uh, one of them uh, uh, is is running um, an accelerator in U.S. called iRangers, and um, he's been also uh, a head of a gaming studio for five years. Uh, so uh, we have uh, in the team relevant knowledge from the industry. Okay, that's good. Uh, we'll see. I'm, uh, what happens uh, like at the end of the program? What, 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 what? By the way, what kind of projects uh, do they, the teams? What do they do? Like, is it mobile games or what kind of games? It's uh, mobile games. It's uh, also browser-based games. Okay. So uh, and. Yeah, we we are actually um, most welcome. We welcome here uh, teams from uh, 
uh, let's say, uh, globally. We uh, welcome here teams globally and, and also uh, not just uh, directly uh, gaming startups, but also uh, startups that are uh, using uh, game mechanics like gamified apps. So, uh, for instance, we have here one startup that is uh, uh, working on a, a language learning app using uh, gamification. There is, so, there, sorry, there is one startup in Russia which just recently even raised funding called Lingualeo, like learning English language mm -hmm. with lots of like badges and encouragement. And exactly. For instance, uh, such startups are, are most welcome also uh, here because we believe that uh, uh, our mentors can also uh, add value here. And, um, and yeah, like this, this field goes on and on, you know, educational games for, for kids is, is a really very big thing right now. Um, but also uh, training, training apps uh, so that motivate you to uh, run more or or, or take your medicine at right times for kids. There, recently there was one app like that, which gives you um, incentives and badges so you won't forget. And, and, um, and you know, also in, like, yeah, in, uh, like I mentioned this example from medicine. So um, gaming is going into uh, education, medicine, uh, various other fields, uh, also how to motivate and big corporations people to uh, do do some tedious tasks. It's also okay. this uh, gamification. Uh, so uh, these uh, yeah. these teams, like, uh, what stage there are in terms of product? Like, do you st uh, is still right. pre-launch, or some of them have users, or what would you say? So uh, we are looking for teams that um, already um, have some tr have some traction, or the product is already um, almost ready, or or even better ready um, and um, so they come here and get get help um, how to uh, maybe polish the product or or uh, how to uh, come up with the right business model and how to uh, how to launch it and um, and maybe uh, also uh, uh, work on a, another another game or another product here or so um, you asked the what, uh, how far are teams that are, are here right now? So uh, uh, some of them have launched their games already and have uh, very substantial revenues. And so substantial, I mean, like meaning, um, uh, let's say um, uh, we're not talking about uh, not not tens of thousands, but but bigger bigger amounts. Um, and uh, and also uh, lots of users and downloads. So uh, and now their plan is to go to other markets and um, and work on their strategy and uh, and also the product how to make do it better. And, and then we have also teams that are um, uh, working on their. Um, uh, we have also one team that is uh, actually wor still working on their game. It's not ready. Okay. So there is actually, when you think about games, they're kind of like hit business, you might say. I mean, Rovio, they have this huge Angry Birds, right, franchise. Uh, Cut the Rope from Russia, they have the Cut the Rope game. But uh, it's still not clear, even with uh, Rovio, if they can like, produce more games like that, it will be successful. So it's kind of even more risky than a typical venture, like uh, outside of gaming. Yeah, it's, um, it's correct. It's very hard to predict. Uh, however, um, if you look at um, uh, like uh, successful game studios, then, uh, then uh, they have managed to uh, produce more than one hit. And um, so it's possible. It's, uh, if, if you have a creative team and if you have the right resources, um, you can uh, you can go on. So um, back to the to the program. You said you opening up application for the next uh, batch soon, right? Yeah. So let's say I'm a founder who want well. Let's say I want to get in, right? Preferably, I would have a game or something that is already launched, right? So have some users, maybe revenues, 
even better. But uh, what kind of other things you look for? Like what's uh, things like checklist? I don't know. How yes. do you define who, who gets in? Um, it's very important is is team. So we we realize, like you said, that uh, that this this great breakthrough may not be that game that that they apply with or that they are working right now. Um, I met in one conference the uh, founder of Mafia Wars, mm -hmm. and he told that. Uh, it actually Mafia Wars was, do you know uh, which number game it was? No, no idea. 17th. 17th, okay. So, um, totally broke before that, almost ready to give up, and then it came. So, uh, it's, it's about the team who can, uh, who can go on and who is who's creative and who's ready to, uh, who, you know, who's passionate about games and uh, who has the right competence. You know, you can be uh, you, you passionate about games, but if you don't have the right team together, then, you know, alone you cannot make it. Okay, okay. Uh, there is one other thing uh, I wanted to talk about. And this is like funding. For instance, um, yeah, like there seems to be like a big problem that, that lots of accelerators face if you're not in top three, let's say, uh, that there is a demo day and um, then the kind of the plan is to get follow-up funding. And most of the teams, especially in Europe, uh, there, is a, there is not much capital, or at least like, most of the teams struggle to get that capital. Yeah. Mm, I agree. It's uh, it's it's the key differentiator uh, between top accelerators and uh, and others. So um, this is what every every accelerator has to uh, work work a lot. So what's your what's your strategy? How do you go to help teams to get follow up investment so they can work on the product and so on? So our strategy is to uh, to create. Um, as many uh, connections with investors as possible, and also uh, with other uh, accelerators that that could also uh, uh, do follow-ups, and uh, and also have uh, demo days in uh, in key places where you can find uh, investors. Uh, in the gaming uh, right now, you can uh, find investors in uh, in US. So uh, that's why we are uh, partnering with two accelerators in the US uh, and, and also we are making a joint demo day with a gaming, another, another gaming accelerator in the US. Uh, so um, this is how we, uh, we uh, have a synergy with, with their investor network and, um, and uh, also uh, uh, get more attention to our startups. But uh, like, if you do a demo day in the US, the team probably has to stay there for at least the founders for the next, I don't know, three months to actually raise money, right? There is hardly ever checks being written on the demo day. Yeah, I agree. It's, um, it's definitely uh, tough, but it's, uh, it's up to the founders if, if they uh, can go through this. and. Um, and if you if you really want it, it's possible to uh, stay in in US, use you know Airbnb and and open offices, Hacker Dodger, yeah. and and other cool places, and uh, hack your way to the top. And that's why we are also looking for startups that have already uh, some traction, so uh, they might have um, enough resources to uh, sustain their team and actually move to US. Okay. Um, I think that's that's like I ran out of questions about the program. I think we covered all like the major things. If I miss something, just tell me. Yeah, I I wanted to say that uh, that actually we are very much uh, looking for startups from uh, uh, from uh, Eastern Europe and uh, and Ukraine is. It's definitely one of the places we mm -hmm. we would like to uh, see teams coming from. Why? Because um, 
uh, because we think that we can uh, help them more than, uh, for instance, some US teams. We had, this time, we had most applications from US. Oh, really? Yes. Like more than half of them were from US? Not more than half, but I mean, like out of 41 countries, mm -hmm. most were from, or like the highest number was from US. Um, however, um, I think we can add more value to, uh, to a startup from, from let's say... Um, Ukraine. Ukraine. Why? Simply because uh, uh, in Europe, we are like linked to US. We are partnering with, uh, with two accelerators. Mm -hmm. And um, and we like the majority of our mentors are from U.S., Canada. Uh, we're not you know, once again not the majority, but like the highest number if we take by country. Uh, so uh, so what we offer is is like a link to uh, a gaming centers and and, and investors. Uh, however, if you are already in U.S., uh, uh, the the added value could be. Uh, smaller, at least at the moment. Mm -hmm. However, some U.S. teams are really interested to come over here to learn from uh, very innovative uh, uh, Scandinavian gaming industry. We have lots of uh, mentors from there. Uh, it's it's actually a do you, have, do you have mentors from Moravia? Uh, we we know uh, quite a few people from there. Let's say, and um, so it's actually. Uh, also very attractive for US teams to come here who want to uh, uh, have a European business, who want to launch here some uh, um, browser games specific for, uh, let's say, German market or, or uh, European markets to understand better uh, what, what has to be done. International landscape. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, just, just one final question. We are sitting, uh, there is like, in a, I don't know what's this, but yes. can, I, can you tell a little? I mean, we don't have anything like that in Ukraine, and I'm just curious. What's Sorry that? about the construction noise right yeah. now. So the uh, building is about to be opened. It's uh, it's like you well, obviously. Then that means it's brand new, and uh, it's um, one of the buildings of Tallinn uh, Science Park Technopole, Technopole, and. Uh, it's a, it's a science park, it's like f meant for technology companies, in helping to technology companies to grow faster. So they uh, rent office space to tech startups. They have uh, about 150 startups in various buildings over 150 here. 150 startups, really? Companies, Company. and startups. And one of them is uh, Skype's building. This 500 people are just next to our building here. So um, uh, it's a really a, a great environment here. Um, this is we are in a building uh, seven floors of uh, other companies, and uh, and this floor, a particular floor, is only for uh, 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 startups and um, and game founders. And uh, this um, area is next to uh, Estonian largest, uh, second largest uh, universities and our only technical university in Estonia and also next to IT college. So uh, it's a great uh, growth area, uh, area in, in, this, in this town. Well, that's, well, that's amazing. I mean, uh, both like the size is impressive and like location, I mean, who, who came up with this idea of, of building this uh, technopolis? Is like, is it a government program or is it like private people who wanted to have, make it happen and just uh, forced government to help them? Hey, well, uh, science parks uh, were invented in uh, in the U.S. and uh, all over the world. There's uh, around 1000 science parks and uh, it's it started like um, uh, 50s 60s in in US and now uh, in in many countries uh, around the world there are these 
technology parks, science parks, usually they are uh, uh, supported or founded by uh, universities, government or local government. And, um, and initially the idea was to, uh, to take uh, all these invention, inventions, uh, uh, research of the universities to the marketplace mm -hmm. and make it commercial available. Uh, now there's there, nowadays there's a less connection to universities, but this this science park is also uh, actually uh, founded by by the Tallinn Technical University, uh, Estonian government, and and city of Tallinn. And um, uh, you you asked that how, who was the uh, initiator, so the first uh, the first CEO of the science park. And of course, also other people. It's it has to be. It's it's almost never a one man's yeah, of course. But effort or still, typically there is someone who's like pushing this and right and so on. Well, I mean, it's great environment, and um, hopefully there will be something like that in in Kiev. I've heard like some talks. There is something in Lviv, but I don't know. I don't know a place where there is even a fifty startups like in one like, area. You know, uh, I think you you have uh, you have the potential to uh, to uh, all of this, and uh, sometimes it's possible to uh, to create uh, big things relatively short time if you uh, have like the vision to do it and a de determination that that's the how you want it. To. And maybe in a couple of years you're ahead of uh, many other countries, and and then the others. Push harder and catch you up, and okay. that's that's the uh, beauty of competition. That's a uh, good word, good word for closing. I want to wish uh, the best of luck to all of the teams who are here, and uh, good luck with the second batch. And um, I think the more better programs we have, everyone benefits, and entrepreneurs and the community. Thanks, and um, I hope um, Ukrainian teams. Uh, uh, also apply to game founders and um, and your um, uh, entrepreneurship uh, ecosystem is developing faster and faster. Yeah, thanks. Sure. So, bye. Cool.